Hi, I'm Doral Schuler, and I'm a gold and silver investor, an author, a publisher, and I'm also a team leader of the world's only gold and silver wholesale buyers club. And I'm really excited because I've just written a brand new book called The Definitive Guide to Storing Gold and Silver, a subject that I found that not a lot of people know a tremendous amount about. So what this video is about is I've taken a chapter from my brand new book, and I've created a video on it. And it's about one of my favorite subjects that there, there, that there is about gold and silver. And what it is, is why should you have a personal stash of gold and silver? And I, I like to call it a personal stash. And don't we all wish we were like this guy with that much gold to, to have to worry about? But here's the thing. In my opinion, I believe that many people, or most people, let's say, are very well suited to have your own personal private stash of gold and silver. So what do I mean by private personal stash? I mean that it needs to be somewhere around your home or your office or your yard or your property, somewhere where you can put your hands on it in a short period of time. And yes, you really should try and find a way that will work for you, okay? So here's the, here's the concept. On any given morning, any of us could wake up and we could turn on the news and we could find out that the world as we know it is totally turned upside down and is totally discombobulated. Remember 9-11? Do you remember what, what happened to the banks? They were closed for about a week after 9-11. And some experts say that at some point the US dollar will crash. And they don't say if, they say when. And when it does, they say it will be ridiculously fast, almost overnight, with no warning. So if that were to happen, what would you use for currency? What would you use to trade, to buy, to exchange? So that's why gold and silver, having some physical personal stash where you can put your hands on it at a moment's notice is so important. Again, other experts say that they're in a sometime in the future that the stock market is going to suffer another gigantic crash. And when it happens, it will practically be overnight. The bottom line is no one knows. The smartest people are honest enough to admit that they that we're in uncharted waters. We've never experienced global and you know domestic and global economic conditions like this ever. No one knows what tomorrow is going to bring. So it seems to me that it's better to be prepared and not need it than not to be prepared and wish you had. So if the worst case scenario happens and you, you need to be prepared, gold and silver have real, true, intrinsic value. They can easily be used to barter with and to buy and sell goods and services with. In a scenario like this, if you have it and if you've been wise about storing it so that you can put your hands on it, you're going to look like a genius and you'll be the envy of all your friends and family and who, the people who did not have the vision and the foresight to prepare. And you're going to become a very popular person. So on the other hand, <clears throat> if you don't have a personal stash at hand, you could be putting yourself in real trouble. So what good would it do? Let's say you have a tremendously large amount of gold and silver, but let's say you've stored it in an off-site vault, storage vault, and that vault happens to be hundreds or maybe even thousands of miles away. What good would it do to have all of this gold and silver and at the time when you need it the most in an emergency, you wouldn't be able to get to it and you wouldn't maybe possibly be able to get it sent to you in the uh, short amount of time that you would like it to be. So I'm not saying to put all your eggs in one basket and to put everything you have in your personal stash, but common sense would tell us that it would be smart to have a personal stash where you could get to it in a moment's notice and have a great plan. And hopefully we will never need it. It will never be an issue and that will be a very good thing. But I think better to plan ahead and have it if you need it. So I, here's the thing. I do realize that there's an endless number of different situations where people live. I know that people are living in all kinds of different situations and I realize that some situations just absolutely do not lend themselves to having your personal stash. I totally get it. So for some, this idea, it may not work at all. 
And obviously, the paramount thing you should keep in mind is you should never do anything that should endanger yourself or your family. That is, nothing is more important than that. So your personal safety should always be the highest priorities, and it's always wise to seek advice from experts and do what's best for you and your family in your individual personal situation. But if some of this information resonates with you, and you think you can you can do it in a in a smart and wise and safe way then i highly encourage you to do so in the book that i've just written this is just i've got lots and lots and lots of information about some i start off with some cheap simple and easy storage methods that you can use that anyone can do some of them are free actually lots of them are, are free just use some your ideas and your creativity and i've got lots and lots of examples in the book and then i kind of graduate it kind of step it up based on how much gold and silver you have the more you have the more you need to diversify and we step all the way up to global diversification to storing your physical gold and silver all around the planet like that so it really covers everything from a to z and soup to nuts so here's a couple options for you number one i created this site buy silver at cost.com forward slash free videos and on there i've got a collection of of some videos that i created from some not all but some of the chapters in the book and you can feel free to hop over there and check out some of these videos and learn some information about uh, various options for storing gold and silver. On the other hand, if you'd like to go ahead and pick up my book, then I would encourage you to do so. There is a link at the bottom of this video, and then underneath the video, there's a hyperlink to Amazon, and you can click that link. You'll be brought to this page right away, and you can see it is ridiculously inexpensive. I must tell you, I only published this book several weeks ago, and I do plan on raising the price. I just wanted to start off with a low price. So if you intend on picking it up, it would probably be wise to pick it up sooner than later. But I'd encourage you to do there, there, there to pick it up. There's some great information. And here's one thing I'll say, not to scare you, but it really is true. If you do this, if you store your gold and silver wisely, then life is great and, and things are good and you can sleep well at night knowing that you're safe and you're protected and you do have your own personal stash. However, if you make one mistake, one key critical mistake, you could lose everything you have. You could lose all of your metals and even worse, it's possible, this is serious business, if you do it wrong, you could lose your life. So that's why I believe it's important to get the book and to read through it and to evaluate all of the different methods laid out and then choose the method that meets your specific needs, your personal needs the very best so that you can have a plan that's right for you and for your life. And here's what I'll say. If after reading the book, if you just get one idea, one good idea from this book, it can have a gigantic difference in your gold and silver investing. And if you make one mistake, then it could be catastrophic and some people could never recover from that. So it, it really is is that important. So here's some options that, that you could do. Number one, if you'd like to pick up the book, you'll see underneath this video, you'll see some information that looks similar to this on the screen. That first link with the red arrow on the left that's pointing to it, that's the direct link to Amazon. You can click that, hop over to Amazon and purchase the book. If you'd like to get more information, that red arrow on the right is pointing to my personal blog site. You can click to that and get a lot more information on my blog site. And then the the web address at the bottom by silveratcost.com forward slash videos is where you can go to check out the other free videos that are on that site. So I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this important video. And if it's right for you and your personal situation, I wanna encourage you to do what you can to create your own private secret personal stash of gold and silver because one day it may be the most important thing and you may be so grateful that you did it. So thanks so much. I want to wish you great luck and success in your metals investing. This is Doral Schuler, and I hope to be speaking with you again. Thanks so much.